This is Homelink 611, 3D, uh, three dimensional shapes. Have your child identify three dimensional shapes. Then help search for three dimensional or 3D objects or pictures of objects around your home for your child to bring to school. Um, I'm just gonna show you a little bit in the reference book here, uh, some of the three dimensional shapes that we're working with. Um, and the three dimensional shapes I wanna share are there's a few here. You can see we've got pyramids, we've got triangular pyramid, rectangular pyramid, pentagonal pyramid, and hexagonal pyramid. Okay. Um, here's some prisms, triangular prism, rectangular prism, and a hexagonal prism. Um, and basically what determines if it's triangular or rectangular is how many sides it's got that are connected by the, um, by the prism. Um, in the prism. So we have regular polyhedrons, we've got a uh, regular tetrahedron, which has four faces, a cube, which has six faces, all right, a regular octahedron, which has eight faces, a regular dodecahedron, which has 12 faces, and a regular icosahedron, which has 20 faces. And some of you may have seen dice with this number of faces on them. Um, so pyramids, just going to take a quick look at pyramids here. All of these solids below are pyramids, and pyramids have flat surfaces called faces, and the shaded face of each pyramid above is called a base. So you can see all the bases. Um, and the faces that are not the base all have the shape of a triangle, and they come together at one vertex or one point. So the shape of the base is used to name the pyramid, and if the base has a shape of a triangle, it's called a triangular pyramid. Shape of a square, square pyramid. So uh, there's that, then there's a prism. And just to share with you what prisms are, all of these solids here are prisms. They have flat surfaces called faces. And the two shaded faces of each prism are called the bases. So the two above and below are called the bases. Both bases have the same size and shape, they're parallel, which means that the bases are everywhere the same distance apart. And the faces that connect the bases are shaped like rectangles or parallelograms. So you can see these are shaped like rectangle or parallelograms, all right, even in a triangular prism. So the shape of the bases is used to name a prism. And if the bases have the shape of a triangle, prism is a triangular prism. If the bases have a shape of a rectangle, it's a rectangular prism so on. Okay. Uh, cylinders and cones. So uh, for cylinders and cones, a cylinder has two flat surfaces that's connected by a curved surface here. Soup cans, paper towel rolls, those are cylinders. Flat surfaces are called bases, and the bases are shaped like circles, and they're the same size. The bases are also parallel, which means that they're the same distance apart everywhere on them. Um, now, another solid with a curved surface is a cone, and many ice cream cones, some paper cups are shaped like cones, but this is what a cone looks like. These are all examples of cones. A cone has one flat surface shaped like a circle, that's the base, and the other surface of the cone is a curved surface. The curved surface wraps around the base at a point called the apex. So the apex is right up here where it comes together. Now, we have spheres. And a sphere is a solid with a curved surface that's shaped like a ball or a globe. So basically any ball or globe, um, all of the points on a sphere's surface are the same distance from the center of the sphere. They're three-dimensional, they take up space, they all have the same shape, but they're not all the same size. So the size of the sphere is the distance across it and through its center, and that's called the, the diameter of the sphere. Um, so, those are a few of the shapes I just wanted to make sure I introduced to you for three-dimensional shapes. Now, if you go to look at this home link, uh, 611, you can try to identify the shapes by, um, by what we just took a look at in the book. So, you need to use the words cone, prism, pyramid, cylinder, and sphere. And you want to have the kids write, write on these lines which ones, which ones you think they are. So, give those a try. Um, and then you want to look around your home for objects or pictures of objects that are shaped like cones, prisms, pyramids, cylinders, and spheres. So basically objects that are shaped like these things, um, or the ones I just showed you. Ask someone at home if you 
can bring if you may bring some of the objects or pictures to school to share with the class. Uh, draw the shapes you find or write the names. So you can draw or write um, just some, maybe four different things you found around the house. Write it in here and if you do want to bring something in to share please just pick one thing in to bring or maybe two if they're small. Now uh, for number three, you need to explain to someone at home the differences between two-dimensional or 2D and three-dimensional or 3D shapes. So, um, you want to explain the difference between this one and this one. What's the difference? And you want to explain the difference between this one and this one. And try to include what you know about each of these shapes as you're explaining that. Uh, if it helps to write about it, you may also write an explanation on the back of the paper. Uh, what is a 2D shape, what's a 3D shape, um, and you can tell me about it. And then down here is your practice. You want to write the problems on the back of this page. These are subtraction problems. And then you want to try to solve it. So this is Homelink 611, three-dimensional shapes.